Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a video editorial for a problem modified GCD taken from Code Forces. And this is one of the problems from Number Theory from Code Forces. So the problem is the problem statement starts for, uh, from here for us. So the problem is you are given two integers a and b and q queries. In each query, you would be given low and high, and you have to find the highest number in this range such that that divides both a and b and we know that gcd of two numbers is the highest number that divides both a and b but in this case uh, we have to find the highest number which lies in this range so there are uh, there is given a and b and then q queries each query of the form low and high and you have to find the highest number in this range that divides a and b if you take some of the examples, the examples are uh, 9 and 27 are A and B and then there are three queries. In the first query, the low and high are 1 and 5. So in this range, we have to find the highest number which divides both 9 and 27. So in this range, since we have to find the highest number, let's start from 5. So 5 doesn't divide both of them. Now 4, 4 doesn't divide both of them. 3 divides both 9, 9 and 27. That is why the answer is 3. Now, 10 and 11, let's start from 11, neither 11 nor 10 divides 9 and uh, 27 both, so there are no elements in this range which divides A and B, so we would print minus 1. In the last test case, we would start from 11, we know 11 and 10 don't divide these two, but 9 does, so the result is 9. So uh, all we have to do is... Uh, print the highest number in the in the given range which divides a and b now if we think about the brute force approach what we can do we can run uh, our loop from high till low and if any of the number if the first number that divides a and b both that would be our answer like here we started from 5 now 5 4 3 3 is the first number that divides 9 and 27 uh, both so we would uh, we have printed 3 but the problem with this approach is that since there can be as large as uh, 10 to the power 4 number of qu uh, queries and each query in each query low and high can be 10 to the power 9. So in the worst case we have to run a loop of uh, 10 to the power 9 size 10 to the power 4 times which would surely result into TLE. So the problem is how we can solve this problem how we can devise an algorithm which runs better than that so let's take an example and observe one of the important observation so see uh, there are two numbers a and b 24 and 36 the gcd is 24 oh sorry 12 now apart from uh, from 12 what are the numbers what are the other numbers that divide both 24 and 36 if you find the numbers uh, which divide both a and b are 1 2 3 4 and 6 do you find any relation between these number and their gcd if you are fine just just keep that in mind because we are going to take another example so that would make things clear uh, now we have taken another example which is 30 and 45 whose gcd would be 15 apart from uh, from 15 these are the only number that divide a and b both 1 3 and 5 do you see again any relation between these number and 15 yeah there is the relation is 3 5 1 all of these are actually uh, the proper divisor of 15 now 1 2 3 4 and 6 again are proper divisor of 12 so we see uh, any number uh, all the numbers uh, the only number that, that divides both a and b are the divisor of gcd and gcd itself so these are the number that divides uh, a and b so using this fact oh yeah you can prove this fact using b uh, uh, goldbet's conjecture i guess uh, yeah i think we can prove this using uh, goldbet no 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 not goldbet conjecture we can prove this using uh, another theorem uh, I'm bad at remembering names so 
I'm having a problem remembering the, the name of the algorithm. I'll be putting the link of a uh, stack overflow problem, uh, a question which asks the exact same thing. So how we can prove it? Uh, we can prove this using two different methods too. So I'll be putting the link in the description why uh, the divisor of two numbers are also the divisors of their GCD. So the only number that divides A and B are GCD and all of its divisor so what we are going to do is we are first going to find the gcd and all of all of the divisors of gcd so we will we will basically be having a list of all of the numbers that divide a and b both so after that in each query we would run a loop for and check what is the maximum number that divides uh, that lies inside the range low and high and also uh, uh, what is the highest number that uh, highest number among these which lies in inside the range low and high the highest number since in uh, since all of these divide these two so the highest number would be the highest number that divide both a and b and lies inside the range low and high so there is a and b and and then queries okay so and a b low and high okay let's keep this capital l capital h so seeing a and b initially and then let's see a and b can be up to 10 to 9 so gcd is equals to uh, uh, a and b there's a function in C++ using which you can calculate GCD of two numbers. Underscore, underscore GCD. Now GCD contains GCD of A and B. Now we have to do uh, is create a list of all of the, uh, let's call it divisor. So we have to create a list of all of these number. So a list with all of the divisors of gcd and gcd itself so i've already explained in the number theory uh, playlist that how to find all of the divisors in square root and time so we have to find all of the divisors of gcd so for lli is long long i can't write that whole thing in in this small for loop so that is why i'm just writing lli uh so i is equals to one i is less than equals uh to square root of n i plus plus let me create some space so if n divides i then i is of course divide oh sorry if i divides gcd then i is of course one of the divisors of gcd so in the divisor list we would insert i and if i into i is not equals to n then n by i is also a divisor of uh, also of divisor of gcd again and not n but gcd so this is from the divisor pair thing because uh, for I've already explained in the previous videos where I was explaining a primality test. So we have seen that the divisors appear in uh, pairs. So the first of the, if i is divisor of GCD, then GCD by i is also a divisor of GCD. For example, if uh, if two is divisor of twelve, then twelve by two that is six is also a divisor of twelve. So that is what we are checking here. If i into i is not equal to GCD, then then GCD by i is also its divisor. So that is why I am inserting this number as well. So now div contains all of the divisor of GCD, or basically div is the list of all of the divisors of all of the common divisor of a and b. Now after that you would read n for n queries and low and high so mm, int result is equals to minus one 
now for each divisor in the divisor list if d is greater than equals to l and d is less than equals to h so we are checking that d must uh, this divisor must lie inside this range if that happens then the result is equals to we would initialize the result uh, maximize the result because we have to find the highest number uh, d and finally if none of uh, none of the divisor divides if none of the divisor lies in the range l and h then result of course is going to be minus one so if we find no numbers result is already is minus one so this is okay this is all i think yeah yep so let's run for the test cases sample test cases so this is sample test case 927 3 15 one five the result is minus one we have made a mistake somewhere okay so am i reading the a and b then g c d and then n l n r okay d must be greater than or equal to l and d must be less than or equal to h of course and then we would maximize the result and printing the result yeah all we have to do is first let me check let me print all of the divisors that we have found so let me write down a c out statement okay oh here yeah, at this place i made a mistake i into i should be less than equals to gcd no i'm not 100 percent sure that 9 27 3 1 5 so yeah the result this time is correct so the answer of first query is 3 10 11 minus 1 okay 9 11 9 okay so now uh, at least the sample test cases are passing so what we have done again to summarize everything uh, I need to remove this line first this line and this line now what we have done we have taken a and b as input calculated the GCD and then we have created a divisor list of all of the devices of GCD uh, to calculate all of the divisor in square root of n time uh, uh, this is the way how we calculate it i have already explained in the number theory playlist so i'm not going to explain this so finally div contains all of the devices all of the common devices of a and b so each time we are reading l and h low and high in the divisor list we are checking uh, every divisor which lies in this range uh, we are finding the maximum one the maximum one would be the answer if none of the uh, divisor lies in this range then result is already initialized with minus one so we would be printing minus one so let's simply submit most likely we are going to get ac can't be so sure okay okay so we have got an ac so this was the problem uh from uh, code forces rated 1600 from the number theory series so thank you guys for watching and if you have any query just post a link oh uh, sorry post your query in the description so thank you guys for watching and for the next video drops till the next video drops keep coding thank you